Brooke Bellamy knows the sweet taste of success. Her cookies are so popular, her suburban bakery has become a tourist attraction. And Brooke herself is an online sensation. Guys, welcome to my bakery. My name is Brooke and I named my bakery after myself. <laughs> the biggest adventure in my life so far has been in the kitchen. Welcome to Brookie Bakehouse. Come on in, thanks for waiting, hi. A sweet escape, guaranteed to satisfy every sugar craving. I've followed her on TikTok for a long time now. Oh, yum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it never gets old. Is it a daily battle for you not to pick up those bickies and just put them straight in your mouth? I don't know how people think I don't. I, every single day I have a cookie. <laughs> Tucked away in the kitchen, you'll find Brooke Bellamy, a cookie queen, slowly making her dessert empire. So, Brooke, this is where the magic happens. It is. This is my little kitchen, 41 square metres. It's small, but it's mighty, isn't it? It is, and I think good things come in small packages. Part of our story is that we did start small, and before it became popular, there was like eight to ten months where we didn't have lines of customers. No one knew we existed. Brooke's Brisbane Bakery is now a global hit. It's the most exciting thing for me when people come in from overseas to say, hi, I follow you from Sweden or from Finland, I'm from the UK. Brooke turned to TikTok when her business was just breaking even. We always think of success as like overnight and it happens quite quickly, but there were so many months where I was worried about paying the rent and, you know, doing a lot of the grunt work myself. Her first ever TikTok, A Day in My Life as a Bakery Owner, viewed 3.3 million times. And getting ready to pipe some cupcakes, ready for the front pastry case as soon as we open. These came from Australia. I love Brookie on TikTok. Alicia, where have you traveled from? Um, Sydney. All the way here. Yeah. Took a plane this morning. Why? Because I've heard the hype about the cookies. Believe it or not, this is actually a short queue to get through the door. On a busy day, this line wraps right around the corner. I've come up from Canberra for work and I thought this is the hottest new thing in Brisbane, so I might check it out. It's eight o'clock. It's a good effort to be yeah. out of bed and lining up for a wanted, biscuit. I wanted to be here early. I've seen like such good things about it. Had to come and try. I mean, do you ever get used to seeing lines of people all the way down the street for your baked goods? No, it's not something that you ever get used to. I think it's always, like, even if I'm not at the bakery that day, if I drive past, I always pick around to have a look and see is there anyone there. Having already achieved best-selling baker status, Brooke's now adding best-selling author to her resume. A lot of people think this is crazy, but there are 100 recipes in the cookbook and they're exactly the same recipes that we make in the bakery. <laughs> Her first cookbook, Bake with Brookie, reaching number one on Amazon Australia within 24 hours of releasing pre-orders. There's no words or way that I can describe that feeling because to know that other people love the bakery as much as I do is just the craziest feeling in the world. But if you thought all this was keeping Brooke busy, just wait. As a bakery owner, I put things in the oven and take them out every single day, but there's been something, one thing that I've been baking up for a little while now. I am having a baby girl and I couldn't be more excited. You'll have a chief recipe taster on your hands soon. Yeah, well, my fiance has already taken that role, so they'll be competing. He'll be jealous. <laughs> yeah, he will be. <laughs> Even with a bun in the oven, Brooks got big plans. Uh, we definitely want to open more stores. That is the main focus at the moment, is figuring out where the next location mm. is. More fun. <laughs> Looks like another reason to visit Brisbane. And Brooke, good luck with the bub.